Hey, you are getting married. Awesome, I love it. How do you make sure you find the perfect entertainer, whether that be a DJ or a band, to make sure that not only the dance part of the night goes epic, but that the rest of the night goes perfect and that every one of your guests walks up to you at the end of the night and says, that is the greatest wedding I have ever been to. Today's video, we've got seven killer tips for hiring wedding entertainment. Without further ado, man, let's get going. Let's get into it. There's too much to cover. Let's go. Welcome back. My name is Derek Rafferty. I own a company called E3 Detroit. We provide live music and entertainment for weddings. And I have a ton of conversations with clients where they're reaching out. And listen, this is the first time and most likely and hopefully the only time you will ever go through this process. And all these clients, they don't know what questions to ask. They might read an online article that's generic and doesn't help, or they're being told this and this and that. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to ask. All you know is you want it to be perfect. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Tip number one, you need to decide before you even reach out to potential entertainment providers, DJs and bands, what components are gonna go into your wedding reception. I will say that a majority of wedding receptions have the same parts of the puzzle, but yours might be a little different. And before you start talking to folks, know in your head and in your vision what you wanna see your wedding look like. So for example, are you gonna have cocktail hour in the same room as dinner and dancing, or is it in a different spot on site? The MC part of the night, make sure that you're getting that covered, the grand introduction. By the way, click here or here to see the video I did on epic grand intros. You gotta have somebody that's gonna introduce dad to perform the welcome speech and the best man and maid of honor to do their toast and cake cutting and dinner prayer and just talk to the crowd and get them engaged. Then you're gonna have, of course, dinner and how is the music gonna be handled for dinner and what do you wanna hear during that part of the night? Then you've got your formal dances, your bridal dance, father, daughter, mother, son, the songs that you're gonna remember for the rest of your lives as those first dances. And then of course, the epic dance party and how are those things gonna be handled. So you wanna know, are those the pieces of your wedding reception? And if not, how does yours differ from that? So before you start asking folks, what do they cost and how do they handle stuff, know what you want. I know that can be a, a daunting, overwhelming thing to think about when you don't really know exactly what you might want. So if you go to e3detroit.com slash resources, I've created a downloadable checklist that you can print out and have in front of you when you're having these conversations. And it'll help by giving you all of these things and you can look them over and you can, you know, of course, tweak it as you go, but at least it gives you a starting point to get that conversation going. So again, tip number one, decide what components you are gonna have at your wedding reception. All right, tip number two, build a short list of potential entertainment providers before you reach out. It can be overwhelming when you're on online resources such as The Knot or Wedding Wire or all of these sites where you've just got literally dozens and dozens of providers. And also remember, every one of those storefronts is written by those vendors so they can say whatever they want. So what I recommend doing is reaching out to friends and family, getting a list of recommendations from them and who they've used and who they've had experience with, then get referrals from other vendors, i.e. your venue, your photographer, your videographer, ask them who they've worked with, ask them who blew their socks off, ask them who made their job easier, ask them who their brides and grooms love the most. Then go to online searching. That's when you wanna look into vendors that you don't have any experience with and start to build that list. But I recommend no more than three to five vendors to start with because most likely based on the referrals or recommendations you get from people you know, that's where you're gonna find the right fit. Okay, tip number three. Now you're ready to start reaching out to potential entertainment providers, your DJs and your bands, depending on what you're looking for. Tip number three is to make sure that these providers include all of the components from tip number one. The way that I recommend approaching it is ask them before you tell them what do they include in their wedding package and how do they handle it. The reason I say to do it this way is before you read off a list to them and they simply can say, yep, we do that, let them tell you how do they handle a wedding reception. Because chances are if A, you've gotten a good friend or family who has referred somebody that they love, B, you've got a list of things in your head that you know you want, and C, you reach out to somebody and they rattle off a list that matches exactly up to that, you know that there's a really good chance you just found your person. 
So make sure that they include the components you want in your wedding reception and let them go into a little bit of detail into how they do that and see what kind of fit there is. Now, if there's any pieces of the, of the list that you want that they didn't say, that's fine. That's when you can ask those questions. That's when you can say, well, I didn't hear about your MC services. How do you handle MCing the grand intro and things like that? Or let's say uh, dinner music, if they just kind of glossed over that, say, do we have input into how you do your dinner music? Or in between, if it's a band, in between band sets, how do you handle the music for that? Do you have a DJ? Do you put an iTunes playlist? Do we have to supply that music? That's when you can start to dial into those. But again, start from the top and letting them tell you what they include and how they include it and how they handle it, and then go from there. All right, tip number four. This one's a little bit different. This is not quite such a concrete black and white bullet pointed thing. This is more the feeling. And what it is, is think about the experience that you want. What I mean is, think of a wedding you've been to in the last couple of years where that MC was taking care of stuff and you're like, uh, that's not good, that's not good. Think of a time when a DJ or a band was playing and everybody was sitting and not dancing. Or on the other side, think of a wedding where people at the end of the night were literally screaming one more song or when people literally said, that's like the best MC I've ever seen. Think of the feeling you wanna have when you're watching those people because when you're having that initial meeting and that initial conversation, chances are the feeling, that gut feeling you're getting from the way that they talk to you, from their knowledge level and the way they explain things, and also just from the way they connect with you, that's the same feeling you're gonna have the night of your wedding. So think about how you want to feel at your wedding and during your party and get that in your head right from the very beginning and look for that feeling in addition to the, to the bullet pointed list of things they're gonna do. Okay, tip number five, make sure that you know who is going to be your contact throughout the planning process, who is going to be your MC at the wedding, and make sure you know who is gonna be the band members that are gonna play at your wedding or the DJ that's going to spin at your wedding. Because if you can't get a guarantee from a potential provider that they can tell you, these are the musicians, this is the band who will be on stage, watch this video, look at these pictures, listen to this audio, that is your band. Or really important, I'm the guy talking to you, I'm your MC. And if they can't promise you that you can know who those people are gonna be, that is a huge, huge red flag. It's like saying, I'm gonna hire this venue because I love it, and they say, well, this isn't your venue, but it's like this. You wouldn't do that. Entertainment's no different. Make sure you know who's gonna be your point of contact through the planning process. Make sure you know who's gonna be your MC the night of, and make sure you know who your DJ or band members will be and then make a point to get to know those people throughout the process. Have conversations with them, let them get to know who you are, what's important to you, how you wanna feel back to that other point, and make sure they can give that to you. So tip number six, go see them live. Now this is really geared towards the live bands, uh, but also for DJs too, but if you've got a band that's gonna be playing your wedding, make a point to go see them, go party with them, bring your bridesmaids and your best man and your maid of honor and your family, and go celebrate and have a good time, dance with them, get to know them, let them get to know you. And that's gonna create a really great personal connection before the wedding. If it's a DJ, go hang with them if they're spinning at a club or just go to their office and sit down and let them, let them show you how they do their, their work, right? If it's an MC that you wanna to get to know, go, go meet with them at their office and talk to them. But get out and go see them live throughout the process. But before you make that decision, if you can go see that band live, I'm telling you that's 99% of it right there. You're gonna walk in, you're gonna watch a set, you're gonna be dancing and you're gonna think, this is the band that I want at my wedding. So go see them live. Tip number seven, the final one. Now this is a super, super important thing that I don't think anybody ever really thinks about and it gets missed in a ton of weddings. And that is, do they play well with others? What I mean by that is your band, your DJ, your MC, throughout the course of the day, and even throughout the planning process beforehand, they're gonna need to work with your other vendors. So for instance, your band leader MC is gonna have to touch base with your planner to make sure that their timelines jive and that they're both on the same page. You're gonna have to make sure that when the setup crew arrives, that they know how to work with the venue and any restrictions or guidelines that they have, that they know how to work with the florist and rental companies to manage load in through what might be one spot to get in and out. You don't want them causing problems and you know throwing up a bunch of red flags there. You wanna make sure that throughout the night that the band leader can work with the photographer and videographer so that they know what's happening, 
where it's happening, when it's happening, so that you don't miss any of those big moments. So ask your band or DJ, have you worked at this venue before? Have you worked with these vendors before? Tell me about your experience with them. And if they haven't, that's okay, but at least let them tell you how they approach working with other vendors and what their processes are. And you'll hear in those answers, you'll start to get a real feel for their professionalism and their level of experience. And that gut feeling we talked about earlier is gonna be forming throughout this discussion. So find out how well they interact with the other vendors that you're gonna have at your wedding, ask them for their experience, and then to have them tell you how they're gonna to plan to do that. Okay, so I know that's a lot to process. It's a lot of information. Once again, if you go to e3detroit.com slash resources, you will find a downloadable PDF with all of this information in there. It's also gonna be in a blog post on the website. But I'd be happy to talk to you personally if you wanna reach out and ask for more detail or clarification, or even if you found something in your search that might be different or in addition to what I've said here, I would love to hear about it. You can reach out to me anytime, Derek at e3detroit.com, or even if you're out there talking to somebody else, I'd love to know how we can help you make sure you're getting the perfect partner to help you have the greatest day of all time. So thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, if you don't mind, it would mean a ton to me. Click on that subscribe button below and leave a comment. Let me know if this information was helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to click subscribe. Have a good one. Later. No reason. Stop making up excuses when